Hello, this is Isaac Lundgren, and today we're going to talk about adding your own environmental um, animations in your scene um, using Unity and Adventure Creator. So here we have a um, scene that is uh, pretty good to go. I've got the character in it. I've got the um, scene pieces brought in and everything is flowing nice with uh, parallax scrolling. However, there could be more um, done to the background to make the background more interesting by adding animations. So here is some simple ways on how to do that. So first, after you have uh, created your animations, so I started with the basic blade of grass, I brought that into my animating program. Um, I uh, duplicated it and animated it in kind of a grass wave going on here. I've got those frames exported as PNGs. Here they are here. So what I'm going to do is first um, bring these PNGs into Unity. So I've got my um, scene open. I'll be bringing those frames into Unity. Inside of my Assets folder, I have a folder already for animations. I can create a new folder for the grass. I'll open that folder. I'll drop these frames in. Okay, they've imported already. Okay, next, um, my Unity has started importing everything as textures. If yours are importing as textures, those aren't going to work for this. We need to change that to Sprite 2D and UI. So to do that, I'm just selecting all of these frames so I can do them all at once. Clicking up here where it says uh, texture type, changing it from texture to Sprite 2D and UI. I'll click apply. That will recognize all of my uh, transparent backgrounds on those frames. So then I'll just drop one frame into the scene. Maybe about here and I'm going to uh, resize that. Probably about like this. Um, here I am scaling the sprite. Here's how you do that. You click on this item here. Yours might be defaulted to the move, so you can move it into place. Um, you also have the option to rotate or um, to resize or to scale as well. So I've got it dropped into my scene. Next, I've done some uh, videos in the past where I went over uh, the process on how to animate with Adventure Creator. Um, I've also stumbled upon some ways that are actually easier. So here I've drug my grass into my um, scene already. It's showing up here. Make sure that you have clicked on your object to be animated and I'm just going to change that to grass one. Okay, so here I've got my uh, item and I need to make sure that it's the order in layer is in front of my uh, background elements. So here this is layer zero, so I want my grass to be probably layer one is fine to make sure it'll show up in front of my little uh, null here. Okay, now with the grass selected in your hierarchy window, click on this button here. So we're not going to add the component of animation or the component of animator controller we're just going to click here. So we're going to title this animation. I'll just call it Grass 1. This will automatically create an animator and it pulls up our first animation ready to go, Grass 1. If you click on something else, you'll need to click on your sprite again to get this. We're just going to make one animation for this one sprite that we've dropped in here. Okay, now we're going to select all of these frames and drag them into here, into the timeline. You can test it out. The default of 60 is too fast. I'm going to slow that down and try 30. That's a little better. Maybe maybe 32. Okay, yeah, I like that a little better. All right, so we've got it set at 32, but now it's just kind of repeating over and over. We want to kind of randomize it a little bit with how it repeats. 
So I'm going to zoom out. I'm using my scroll wheel to zoom out so I can see more of these frames here. I'm going to select all. I'm going to hit um, Command or Control C, Command for Mac, Control for PC, Command C. I'm going to leave a little gap here, maybe paste it here. Maybe I'll make it a little closer here. Maybe I'll make it a little farther here. Okay, that's going to randomize it a little bit. Let's try that. Okay, that works pretty good. All right, now let's see how that looks in our scene. I'm just going to test out our scene here. Okay, looks nice. Although it is a little lonely, um, we will want to give that grass some company. So rather than making a whole new set of grass and um, exporting it and bringing it in here, we can just use this same grass and uh, create a new animation. So next I will drag in a uh, single sprite again. This time I'll position it maybe here. I'm going to shrink that down about like this. Okay, That looks pretty good. I'm going to tap on create. We'll call this animation um, grass two. Okay, the animator controller is automatically ins assigned when you uh, do it that way. I'm going to select all of my frames again. I'm going to drop them in here. But this time, we don't want the grass to start at the same time as this grass. We want it to continue uh, shortly after, almost it, like it has a flowing wave pattern. So to achieve that, I'm going to come back to my original grass. Oh, I really should have called this grass two first. Oh well, grass two, change that now. All right, grass one. So I'm coming down here and checking to see where the wave ends. It ends about here. So this is frame number 16. So I want to start this animation at frame 16. So I've got all of these frames selected. I'm going to scoot them over to frame 16. So that should pick up when the other one uh, leaves off. Then we have our second wave. It should pick up around frame 73. So I will come back to grass number two. I'm going to select, select my frames here, copy them. And what did I say, 73? Let's scoot over to Let's scoot this over to frame 73, about here. Okay, come back to animation number one. The third wave should start about, about 112. So I'm going to copy this. Paste that in at 112. And I believe there's also a fourth one. Let's see here. And that starts at about 192. So I'm going to copy these again. Command C. We'll come to 192 and paste. We're going to scoot this over to about 192. Now we'll check on this grass because we want these loops to stay lined up. So this grass is going to end on frame 223. 
So our first animation, rather than going to repeat at, it ends at 214, we want our last frame to be 223. So I'm going to copy this last frame To move this over to 223 and paste. Oh, I copied more than one. Okay. Last frame, copy and paste. So it's just going to hold this last pose until 223. So now my lengths are the same. 223. Okay. So let's test that out. Except uh, one more thing. This is that 60 frames, samples a second, um, our other ones we had that at uh, 32. So let's change that to 32 and let's test that out. Okay, we've got some nice Studio Ghibli wave grass into our scene. Now you could continue this process and kind of make it wave um, even farther and uh, that actually may be a good idea. Um, we can tweak this some more. Notice that these frames are taller. Um, you could even come in here now that we've got uh, this grass that's ready to be animated and this grass ready to be animated. We could come right in here and duplicate this object And uh, let's move it down here. Maybe even shrink that down a little bit. And duplicate this one. Duplicate this one. And let's check that out. That actually looks fantastic. Cool. I think I want to duplicate this once more up here. I might even rotate it a little bit. Let's try that. Duplicate it here. I'll move that up here. I'm going to shrink that down a little bit. Yeah, that's awesome. So as you see, um, with just a little bit of effort and a little bit of know-how, you can animate um, some fabulous background items um, using Unity. Now, there are plenty of ways that you can animate directly in Unity if you want to avoid um, a third-party animation software to get um, frames to be a little more fluid like this, um, at least the way uh, that I'm familiar with it. I always an animate outside of Unity and the bring in the PNGs, uh, bring in the frames to uh, bring into Unity. Um, of course, you can animate directly in Unity. For example, um, I've got fog down here and it's just kind of sitting here. We could animate this fog and I wouldn't have to bring in separate frames. So let's take a look at that. You can click on this item. Okay, I've got it selected. I will um, tap here on Create Animation. Okay, I'm going to uh, put it in a new folder. Okay, so now I'm going to 
I've got to reassign this frame again. So I'm going to check up here and see where it is. Okay, it's uh, 03 fog 01. I'll bring this sprite into here. So now this is assigned in here. And I will just create a timeline animation for it. So let's say um, we're going to start it here. I'm going to um, maybe come ahead, maybe 24 frames. Okay, I'm going to move it slightly to bring up our keyframe. And now we can uh, edit that animation a little bit. Maybe we'll have it lower on that side, which in turn causes it to rise on this side. And let's have it uh, maybe shrink down here a bit. All right, that'll be a nice animation. Just slightly moving fog. And we want it to move back to place. So I'll copy these frames here. And I'll paste them here. Let's test it out. OK, that's obviously way too fast. Let's do 12. Eh, still too fast. Let's try 8. It's a little more subtle. All right, let's take a look at what that looks like in our scene. <clears throat> okay, we can see the fog. It's kind of rising and lowering a bit. Just a subtle little environmental um, animation there. Okay, so here's the point. Rises to this point. Okay, gives a little motion to this scene. I like it. So that is a simple way to animate some objects if you don't need multiple frames. Um, you can just take your sprite um, create the animation and then uh, create a small timeline of movements. And of course we have our more complex animation in the background with these waves of grass. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If there's uh, something specific that you're looking for um, and you're not able to find other videos, um, feel free to leave a request on my page and um, if I can uh, make the time for it hopefully I can uh, meet some of your needs. Um, if you have not checked out uh, my Adventure Creator Getting Started tutorial that's really where you should get started. Um, it goes over everything from scene setup to character creation, um, creating the multiple direction animations for your character and linking multiple scenes together as well as um, creating the walkable areas um, using the nav mesh. Um, it also covers parallax scrolling. Um, and take a look at some other videos um, I have on the subject as well. Um, have a great afternoon, evening, morning, day, whatever time of day it is for you. We will talk to you next time. Thanks.